and welcome to another episode of Madame Wesley. Now you might notice something different about this video. I'm outside. So today's lesson is called Outdoor Maths and I'm going to be showing you lots of exciting games and activities that you can be doing outside in your garden. Okay, but we're going to start as we always do with our maths meeting songs and then we'll get outside to do our activities. Okay. Mass meeting, mass meeting, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Mass meeting, mass meeting, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 January, February, March and April, May, June, July and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Yes, they are. And finally, today is the 1st of April. So we're going to try and see it this time without saying the month April. Let's go. January, February, March and May. June, July and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Yes, they are. Okay, let's get ready to do some outdoor maths. So, our first idea for coming outside is to write your numbers, whichever numbers you want, in chalk on the floor. You can do it nice and big and then you can practice your letter, your number formation using some water and a paintbrush. So let me show you with number one. So you're gonna go up, down and across. And then let's do our second number, making sure we form the number correctly. You can do this with bigger numbers and you can even do some drawing with just some water and a paintbrush. Okay, our next idea is creating yourself a chart looking at different objects that you can find around your garden. So for example, I've collected leaves, sticks and stones today. And at the, this side I've written leaves, sticks and stones. This column I've put all the items in. And then this column, you add them all together, you count them and then you give yourself a tally. So with a tally, what you need to do Is you need to count the number and then write how many you've got there. So I'll show you with my stones. So one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to tally them. One, two, three, four, five. Then you go across when you get the fifth one. So then we can count them in rows. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now keep counting them until you've counted all your stones and then put them in your tally. Then you can ask yourself, what did you collect more of? Did you collect more leaves? Did you collect more sticks? Or did you collect more stones? Have a go at that one at home. Okay, our next idea is using some chalk, draw yourself 10 squares and create yourself a game of hopscotch. And I'll show you how to do it. You can even do it counting the numbers at the same time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great fun and gives you some exercise as well. Okay, our next activity. We're using the same twigs and sticks that we used earlier, but this time we're going to have a go at measuring them. So have a look at home to see if you've got a ruler. If you have, that's fantastic. So you get your stick. Now I know my class have done this before. And you put your twig starting on the zero and you measure it over here. Zoom right in. Let's have a look at how long this stick is. So we started it, remember, start at the zero, 
and it ends at the 14, which means this stick is 14 centimetres long. Let's look at another one. Okay, oh, I wonder if this one's longer or shorter. So, starting at the zero, ending here, this one is 24 centimetres long. So it was longer. Okay, let's have a go at another one. This one's a little bit bent, so we put it to the zero, all the way here, and this one is just over the 20 centimetres. So if you just estimate and, and, and roughly guide it to the nearest centimetre, and then what you can start to do is, after you've measured them, put them in order of length. So you can put the shortest at the top and the longest at the bottom. I wonder how many twigs you can measure. Okay, looking at our next idea. Using the leaves that you've collected already, or perhaps you might want to collect some more, I'd like you to sort them. You can choose two ways, any way of sorting them yourself. Now, I didn't have any hoops at home, so I've just used some bowls from the kitchen. And I've decided to sort mine into green and not green. So I'm gonna take a leaf, this one's green, so it's gonna go in here. I'm gonna sort them all, not green, not green, not green, not green, and I think all of these ones are green. When you're finished, I'd like you to count them and see which one you had more of. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I had 14 green ones. Let's see how many non-green I had. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So I had more green than not green. And the difference, I wonder if you can work that out at home. 14 take away 11. So I had three more green ones. Have a go. Okay, using the leaves that you've already collected, we're now going to look at counting in twos. So I've put my number cards down the side. I've got zero, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. And on this side, I've started to put out leaves showing what it looks like when you count in twos. So obviously I've got no leaves here because it's zero. Here I've got two leaves. Here I've got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So how many leaves would I have here? Eight. And we could just keep going and watch the leaves increase. Okay, using the same leaves, or we could go and collect some more. Now I want you to have a look at writing numbers on the leaves. So here I've written number one. Here I've got number two. And here I've got number three. So I'm going to choose another leaf and write number four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now you can just keep going with however many um, leaves you've collected. Now, if you want to go one step further, you can take your leaf and you can get a hole punch inside and you can punch one hole in your leaf that says one. You could punch two holes in your leaf that makes two and three here. That's just a few more ideas that you could do with your leaves. Now, make sure at the end of doing this activity, you wash your hands thoroughly as you've been touching lots of things in the garden. Okay, thank you for watching another episode of Madame Wesley.